Hey guys, Thanks. welcome back to the Dubis Dollars Podcast. It's your girl P, and today I got Island Girl, aka Makana Moon, in the building. Hey, hey. hey how you doing? Good. Good, good. Definitely Thanks for good. coming on. So, of course. I wanted to get all the girls that were going to participate in the BBW fashion show at Exotica, New Jersey on before so we can kind of promote it and talk about it and everything. How are you feeling? Yeah. Um, being honest, I am still pretty nervous. It's my first Exotica okay. um, and my first fashion show. So I'm still got the jitters, but I'm like also just like absorbing everything that I can and really like taking it in <laughs> so yeah. I'm excited but nervous okay so what are you looking forward to at Exotica um I'm actually super looking forward to a bunch of the like uh I don't want to say demonstrations what is it called like I know fairies doing one like the seminars That's oh the called. seminars yes yes yeah I'm super stoked to like go check those out learn more meet new people <laughs> yeah so i went to the one in chicago that platinum pussy did um the cu curve confidence oh yeah, i actually yeah. have that up on my channel so y'all go watch that i'll link that at the end <laughs> of this <laughs> but yeah that was a real good one i hate that i didn't get to go to more seminars but it's like man you cannot catch them all you just gotta pick out i know i'm trying to like do like top one of the day type of thing and see if I can get into it because mm. between that and then like trying to make a little content here and there and then you know like it's just busy for sure okay so you have an OnlyFans I do I do what have kind of content can we find on there <laughs> I mean a little bit of everything um I'm a bratty sub by nature so there's definitely some BDSM there's definitely you know boy girl content girl girl content a little bit of everything um I do do some like more specialized like fetish stuff, but it's like shoot me a DM and we'll talk about it. It's not on the main feed kind of thing. What's the weirdest request that you've gotten? I've got, I mean, I'm not one to yuck somebody else's yum, but I've definitely been like, mm, that's not my cup of tea. <laughs> um, <laughs> I've definitely gotten like some like puppy plays cool. I'm learning to step into my dominance a little bit more because okay. it's definitely higher in demand um so uh, being an owner and stuff is like okay cool but they wanted me to like potty train them <laughs> and I was like all right and then he's like, but I'm a, I'm a girl dog and I'm in heat. So I need to like wear a diet. Like it was, it was interesting. I was like, hmm. Oh, he was okay. a puppy and like yeah. needed to get potty trained. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, this is new. Okay. <laughs> yeah. They have some interesting requests sometimes. So I had one to just be a puppy. So I got all yeah. dressed up like little puppies. Like I could do that all day. <laughs> like, <laughs> <laughs> Being the handler, because, like, I'm just not naturally super dominant. So it's, like, any pushback, I'm like, okay, now what? <laughs> you know, that's something that this industry has brought out of me. Because you're right. Like, these guys want to be, they want to be the subs. They want to be humiliated. That's way, I, I can't speak for a lifestyle. But, like, this yeah. online world is definitely full of submissive men, cooks. And yeah. <laughs> oh, so I'm like learning and like getting more comfortable with it but it's like it's it's oh training wheels for sure <laughs> okay okay yeah um so back to the fashion show what are you gonna what are your outfits oh I'm so excited um so Fridays freaky Fridays we're doing the Halloween costume biz mm -hmm. Um, and I'm doing like a sexy Chucky. So it's like a little one piece and like cropped and like red push up with the red stockings and um, oh, be nice. all that business. Um, because like, you know, horror movies got to like still bring the spooky. Um, and then I'm, I'm narrowing, I narrowed it down to two for Saturday lingerie pieces. I have a two piece that's like ass out, like cute, like full and then I have one that's like a little bit more modest but I'm like how much do I want to commit I don't know <laughs> I always like the sexy slutty route I think exotic was a one time that you know you could just wear whatever you want 
It's true. So, it's true for sure. You know, it's like one of the only places that I've ever been that I could just, you know, you could be half nude and whatever. So I just take advantage of that. Now, I do know some ladies, um, they're they're just like they they shy away from that because they don't want the guys touching them and uh, you just you just gotta watch out like when i my first exotica i was with chatterbait so we're like behind you know you have like that protective like yeah so it's <laughs> like you. unless they ask for a picture i said i didn't get the guys like trying to be creepy or grab mass or stick their hands on my pants or something but you do gotta watch out because i'm sure they're yeah. all around but oh, yeah, I have no I problem people, checking somebody in person though. Like, mm, no, thank you. <laughs> yeah, and do what you feel comfortable with. Like, I like just wearing the pasties on and being fake. Right, you know? I have pasties because that was one thing that Missy told me. She was like, "Nope, you can't have your nipples out." And I was like, "All right, oh. I guess." <laughs> yeah, I had to change my pasties. Well, they weren't. I should have got better ones, or it's some extra glue. Just because once you start sweating, them pasties just oh yeah. Come off. So, totally <laughs> yeah okay and then sunday is the sports sunday and so i gotta rep portland trailblazers out there like i'm one of the only oregonian girls so i got it oh. how is it in oregon i've never been over there i fucking love the pacific northwest <laughs> <laughs> um it's like especially right now like fall it's 100 percent like twilight vibes like foggy mornings and like coffee on the porch chef's kiss it's beautiful let's see where i'm at it's hot or cold or rain there's no we don't get yeah. like pretty springs or pretty falls we just skip mm -hmm. those seasons <laughs> I'm I, down that's in one thing i love is like we have distinct all four seasons it is a little bit warmer this year i will say like it still hasn't fully cooled down mm -hmm. but it's gorgeous and it's like in oregon especially you're like two hours from the beach two hours from the mountains two hours from the desert so you can really take yeah. your pick on wherever you want to be yeah that's nice yeah I gotta come over there okay I mean <laughs> come come see me Let's I'm gonna come out. visit you um <laughs> so are you do you have any collabs planned for Exotica or um not officially I definitely wanted to kind of like dip my toe and just like really absorb mm -hmm. and like take it in I have a couple of subscribers and stuff that um, have booked to like meet up for coffee and things like that like nothing mm -hmm. crazy um just like hang out in person kind of thing okay. um, so nothing nothing too crazy yet but you know I don't know maybe I'll get there and be like you've swooned me okay <laughs> <laughs> well this is the one time because we're around like all our peers it's like the one time we get everybody in the room so take advantage of that and definitely right. don't be I mean, shy I'm doing like I was party oh yes the slumber party yeah so i'll be there for that for okay sure. yeah that'll be fun i know we're gonna make some content then i got some super cute like spooky pajamas they have like the skeleton hand business Aww. so it'll look cute <laughs> <laughs> well that's exciting that's so how cute. long have you been in the adult industry um i'm like a baby like just barely started um I started my OnlyFans kind of as a joke. Like my ex was like, you won't do it. And I was like, not only am I going to do it, I'm going to do it well. So mm -hmm. I'm going to do it. Um, and that was like February, March. And okay. so like, and now I'm here. <laughs> <laughs> How are you liking it? I like it a lot. Um, it's still very much part time. Like I do it more for fun than for profit for mm -hmm. me personally. It's like, I like owning my sexuality. I like putting content out there. Um, I like making money off of it, obviously. Oh, yeah. <laughs> um, and I'm definitely getting better about being like, no, this is, this is a service. And this is like, I'm worth the time, money and effort just as much as anybody else. Um, so, but yeah, I like it. <laughs> yeah. Well, see, that's always good because then when it does catch on, you'll be like, okay, you're you're enjoying it. You're having fun. You're putting out what you want to put out there. And shoot, that bag's coming. So, hey. <laughs> yeah, exactly. That's what I'm saying is like, for me, it's not about like, shh, gosh, sorry, my dog's here. <laughs> oh, um, what kind of dog's It's not have? about a Labradoodle. Aww. Her name's Morgan, like Derek Morgan from Criminal Minds. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Morgan. Make yeah. an appearance on Do We Sit Dollars. Yep, yeah, she here. 
Oh. She's the cutest. Yeah. Um. Anyways, <laughs> um, I'm not the type that's like, I have to be the best. I have to be in the top 1%. I want to do that. Like, I just want to make content that I think is good content and that I'm enjoying. And like, Mm -hmm. I don't want to say sets an example because that seems silly, but like, it's genuine, you know, it's not faked, like super produced, anything crazy like that. Mm -hmm. Like, I don't know. I want to enjoy it and have fun and meet really cool people that are also in the industry, you know? (laughs) yeah you know i i think that's one thing that i take pride in my content too it isn't like super produced it is more like amateur but they like it it's more relatable yeah so like they feel like okay you're a real girl you know they can see themselves actually being with you not someone not that's like, super far-fetched yeah yeah I hear you, I hear you. <laughs> <laughs> and i just but, like being creative with it you know what i mean like i just did um so i did boudoir modeling first is like kind of where the interest started i guess okay. um and so lots of lingerie lots of you know boudoir modeling and different themes and stuff and my photographer is really cool about giving me the creative freedom to be like i want to try this or i want to do this or that and helping me and we just did like a human sacrifice Halloween one with like the candle circle and like blood and yeah so I'm I like the creative aspect behind it for sure Mm -hmm. (laughs) you know I don't want to just be like here's me shaking my ass again for the fifth time this week you know (laughs) (laughs) that sounds really cool so did it help that you had that boudoir experience before um I think it helped with just me being comfortable being seen in that way you know because for me like boudoir is 100% an art form and like photographers are artists in and of themselves but like being comfortable in that space and being like okay I own the body that I'm in there's no reason I can't love me exactly how I am right now like take it or leave it Um, Mm -hmm. my body's gotten me this far and I'm proud of it (laughs) you know Um, so it's definitely given me like a pretty solid base so that like when I was doing the more like candid sexual whatever stuff that if there was pushback or people who are haters or whatever it didn't phase me quite nearly as much I feel like if I didn't do that before yeah I I when I came into this world I hadn't had any experience so it was a little challenging you know doing especially doing my first photo shoot because I'm thinking the photographer is gonna pose me but mm. they don't always pose you. I, I right. just assume they always did. You know, I'm used to like being in school, like place your hand here, do this. And so I'm yeah, like, yeah, yeah. oh, well, I don't know what pose to do. Like I literally, I felt like stupid. <laughs> no, I- and see, I feel that way about any kind of like, like video shooting. I'm like, I what, what's expected of me? Like how, you know, like, cause now that, you know we've been promoing and stuff um I've definitely had people reach out and be like hey let's collab let's do this let's do that like come out here and I'm like "Ah!" (laughs) (laughs) well don't do anything don't feel pressured to do anything because like I'll get guys all the time asking me oh you want to shoot the scene I'm like you know I don't do hardcore scenes and then Mm -hmm. I guess they get shocked (laughs) they're like what you are but I'm like no I'm I consider myself a solo artist I have shot one scene with Finn um and I've done some light girl stuff with um Danica Denali and Marilyn Marie but that's really my extent my solo content is what I really just enjoy doing yeah absolutely and see like I love like collaboration and content and with other people but I'm also pretty selective. Like, I'm not just going to be like, you get some pussy, you get some pussy. Oh, <laughs> you know what I mean? please do. Yeah. <laughs> like, yeah, you have to be. You know, it's yeah. your brand. So. Absolutely. But yeah, right. I'm excited to learn. And, you know, um, Carrie is just like a wealth of knowledge as far as oh, like. Oh, my gosh. Yes. You know what I mean? And so I'm like, just a little sponge over here, soaking it all in. <laughs> She really is. Like, she's been doing her thing grinding for two decades. 
like in yeah. this game. <laughs> you know, I really I have a lot of respect for her. Um, I've gotten to know her really well this summer, and mm -hmm. I just really admire her. And I appreciate no, all that she's that she's putting on. I feel like sometimes she doesn't get the credit she deserves because she, she has gone back so far. She has paved the way for a lot of girls. Like let's face Absolutely. it, eighteen years ago or nineteen years ago when she first got into this, like I'm pretty sure it was hard being a BBW back then. Like mm -hmm. now we're in 2022, so it's like okay, it's trending right now. You know what mm -hmm. I mean? Like it's the cool thing to be thick, but like. I, I don't know. I appreciate her so much because she's actually the one that reached out to me because um, I saw him on TikTok and, you know, and then on Insta and I was like, oh my gosh, you guys are so cute. I'd love to do something like that someday. And she's like, put an application, like do it. I was oh, like yeah. in an airport in Chicago and a transfer. And I was like, do I do it? Am I, am, am I doing this right now? And I like sent it in and she's like, yeah, no, we need you for all three days. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And she's so helpful. She really is. Yeah. You ask a question. You ask her one question, she's gonna give you the full everything with it. And you're gonna walk away with so much information and knowledge. So hey, shout out to iHeartBBW. Keep it going. Ah. <laughs> Love her. Is there anything else you wanted to say? Anything else coming up? Or you wanna shout out your socials? Cause that's one thing. Ooh, adult workers, they kill me on YouTube with, so we just got to say it out loud. Where can they find you? <laughs> yes, let's do it. Um, I have all the socials, everything in between. Um, although I don't have many vids yet, and I see that's what a lot of people are using. And so mm -hmm. I'm like, maybe I'll hop on there. But in the meantime, OnlyFans.com slash Makana Moon. Um, Twitter is Island underscore girl 475, and so is my TikTok. And then Instagram is island underscore girl 4575. Okay, cool. Yeah. And I'll get the correct spelling of McConnell Moon so they'll be able to find you. Yeah. All right. Well, thanks for coming on my show. Of course. Thanks for having me on, talking story. <laughs> Enjoy <it. laughs> Getting sure. to see you face to face before like we actually I see know. each other. <laughs> what, we got the countdown. What is it? 11 days, 10 days? I think it's we're getting like, close. We're almost to single digits. <laughs> oh, Lord. <laughs> All right. Well, I'll see you then. Yeah. See ya. Thank you so much. <laughs>